So next topic what I am going to see is types of organization culture. So what is organization culture is certain set of assumptions or belief that an organization is following for the development. So here there are varieties of organization following different types of cultures. So first one is your subculture. So what is subculture is like only majority like for example in an organization there will be different groups of workers like major groups of workers and minor groups. Levels of management, three levels of management are there, top level, middle level and global level. If you compare, top level majority of workers will be there or minority of workers will be there in top level. Minority of workers only will be there when compared to lower level management. Lower level management only majority of workers will be there. Okay, so here an organization majority and minority of peoples are working. So here if minority of peoples are like small for the development of an organization and if an organization is giving importance to those small minority groups of people and they are framing it as rules and regulations then that culture is said to be a subculture. Subculture is when a company's minority group of workers are asking for some developmental process like for example in our uh, organization we need canteen facilities, in our organization we need a recreational activity. In our organization, we need to like uh, spend some free time. Okay, wow. So if they are asking like that and an organization provides those facilities, then that culture is to be a subculture. So minority of people are asking for certain things in an organization and if an organization provides that, then it is to be a subculture. Wow. So again, this dominant culture. So obviously dominant culture means here minority of people are not going to ask, whereas majority of people One who 
who's having control over others. When I'm having authority over others. Since I'm handling this subject, I'm having the full authority to ask you to write class test or to ask you to submit assignments on time. Why are taking a lot of leave? I'm having full rights. Suppose I'm not handling any subject for you and I'm handling other subjects for the other departments. That time I'm not having any right among you to ask you or question you. So authoritarian culture is valid. This particular organization, leaders or executives will be having control over their subordinates. So they will be having full control. If you are working in a HR department, as a HR executive has full rights to question you. Has full rights to take decision. Like in HR department also applies here. So here authoritarian culture is HR department executive has full rights over HR department uh, employees. Whereas he is not having any rights over finance department. He can't take a question of finance training also. Why he is finance manager will come and question him. So that is it. Yes, authoritarian culture. In many organizations, cross cultural uh, departments they will be like they will be hesitating to talk also. Within our department, we will do our work. But as a cross department, many organizations are still hesitating. Okay. So next is participative culture. So as authoritarian culture, the leader has control over the subordinates, it is totally opposite to it. Whereas by participative culture, each and every employees or subordinates has the right to say something to a leader in a sense for the development of the organization. So like for example, you are having new ideas, new thoughts, how to improve your business. You are having it, you can share it with your leader and leader also will be uh, like he will be passing the message to top management and automatically there will be a good communication among the subordinate and the leader also. That is it means participative culture. So participative culture is in order to achieve the goal of an organization, both subordinate and leaders they will be mingling among themselves. Okay. And next is normative culture. So what is normative culture is as name norm. Normative means they will be following certain norms, rules and regulations. So we can't take the question why your company is now having this norms. As I said, many companies are not allowing black share to that. You can't take the question then why you are not allowing black share to that. You can't take the question as you are joining an industry, you are one among them. So whatever the rules and regulations they are following, you have to follow. You put this, the rules and regulations they are following is like some sort of superstitious belief which you don't like. Sometimes we have to go with the company norms. Even though we like pleasure, but they are not allowing it. What we have to do as a company, we have to follow rules and regulations. So, normative culture means certain norms, rules, and regulations we have been following, and the organization culture we have to keep on following. Okay? Next is pragmatic culture. So, what does pragmatic culture mean? As a company, I'll be having some rules and regulations. My clients will be coming, right? See, if I'm in an IT sector or whatever it is, your clients or customers will be coming, right? And while they are coming, they will be giving some sort of choices. Why you are following these rules and regulations? You can upgrade now. Like that, they will be giving some sort of suggestions. So, when a client is giving some sort of suggestions, that suggestions will be considered more effectively. So, when a client is saying some suggestions, that suggestions will be implemented in your culture. That is it. Yes, pragmatic. Pragmatic means in wider sense. So whoever coming to my organization are giving me ideas, but that ideas also will develop my organization. That time I can change myself. It is not a big problem for me. So whatever the clients, ideas are giving, that will be implemented. That is it. Yes, pragmatic culture. And next one is fortress culture. So what is fortress culture is like, uh, this type of culture when they will be following is in an organization, see in one organization it is like moving towards sick unit. Sick unit means anytime it can, it can wind up, like it is not getting perfect, anytime you can close the organization like that the company is in that stage. So the employee whoever is working in that company, they don't know whether the career is going to end or not, whether the is going to next stage or not, whatever is going to happen, they go. That time, a certain culture and organization follows, which is it, yes, fortress culture. So, fortress culture, now, when an organization don't know what to do, they are in a situation 
that either next month they can close it also. Okay? And or next month they will be selling their company. Like as I said, holding company, subsidiary company. Uh, right now, uh, before like WhatsApp now it has been bought by which company? Meta, right? So now WhatsApp before selling, they have had certain uh, rules and regulations, their culture will be different. While they are moving towards an another company, they are joining with another company, their rules and regulations will be totally changing. So meantime, like after selling their company for 10 or 15 days, they will be there. That culture, what they will be following is it a spot dress culture, whereas they know what to do. That culture is it a spot dress culture. Next one is academic culture. So what is academic culture is, many organizations, they will be only hiring highly skilled employees to do a work. So they will be giving importance to skill. They want each and every workers to be skilled workers. Not the semi skilled workers or unskilled workers, they only recruit skilled workers. So, that type of organization which they are following culture is SPS, academic culture. So, strongly they are giving importance to your academics. In terms, if you are strong with your academics, automatically they will recruit. That is SPS, academic culture. So, there are varieties of types of organization culture that is being followed, starting with subculture. Dominant culture, strong culture, unique culture, 